Right, in this video we're going to be looking at the enhancement mode. Enhancement mode MOSFET. Commonly referred to as an eMOSFET, or in fact, even if you don't refer to it as anything, um, you could even just call it a FET and probably assume you're dealing with an eMOSFET uh, or even just MOSFET. Right, they're so common now compared to the other ones that you can almost assume from FET to eMOSFET. Right, these guys are very, very common and that they make up most of the transistors inside the processes of ICs today. So you can imagine how many, well, I can't even imagine, say the number big enough of these that must exist today. Okay, billions and billions and billions of these guys. They're very, very common. They are easy to make very small, which is one of the reasons why they're so much used inside uh, so many CPU processes. Uh, but they operate exclusively in the enhancement mode. So whereas the DMOSFET, which we looked at recently, could operate in both, the enhancement mode MOSFET can only operate in enhancement mode. And that's actually not a bad thing that we're going to see. If we draw our little block diagram again, so we've got our drain, our source, and then note in this example how I've drawn the p doped region. Okay, we've got our substrate as well. Notice how in this particular drawing that the p doped region extends all the way to the insulating sil silicon dioxide. All right, we come back just quickly to the DMOSFET you notice I only drew it halfway across here. Once again, this is only representative. It's not physically how these things look, but it's a nice way to explain the operation. All right. If we apply a voltage VGS, it's going to be positive. As you remember with the DMOSFET, I said a positive voltage pushed away that P-channel, or that p doped region, opening up a channel here to enable current to flow. The same thing we can say happens here. So if we apply a positive voltage, we can start opening up this channel to allow current to flow here. So a positive voltage can push that P-doped region opening up a channel. Once again, this is representative. It's not physically how they work, but it is uh, a nice explanation. Right? Whereas it's normally all the way closed, you see here, meaning that normally there's no channel, which infers this is a normally off device, which is good. We want that, right? This is what we've been looking for so far, looking at FETs. So this channel is normally all the way across, so there is no current flow, and therefore this device is off. As we apply a positive voltage, once we get past one, a threshold, which I'm going to talk about soon, we open up this channel, all right, current can begin to flow, and therefore we can control this with a positive voltage. So, positive voltage controlled. So both of the problems that we had with the DMOSFET are actually now solved with the eMOSFET, hence why they are so common. So we apply a positive VGS, which generates an electric field at the gate which pushes and in inverted commas there the P doped region opening up a channel. All right? An, an N channel, hence being called an N channel device, all right, for this particular example. So that's basically how the enhancement mode one works. What's nice is to actually see that in terms of transconductance. 
All right, so we would have our ID up here, negative VGS along here, zero VGS. I've already told you that this one operates only in enhancement mode, so we're only operating here. But note what happens. All right, nothing happens until this point here. And this is known as VGS threshold, sometimes just abbreviated to VTH or even just VT. And this is the threshold voltage. Until this point, this p-doped region doesn't start pushing back. All right, it's still hard up against our channel here. So you need a certain amount of voltage, it's not linear, before current can start to flow. So up until that point here, up until that voltage, so until VGS exceeds the threshold voltage, all right, we can see it coming up here, ID equals zero. And we can write these channel conditions down. All right, so if VGS is less than the threshold voltage, ID equals zero. And we can see that. We'd be operating down here. All right, no current flows. VGS is equal to the threshold voltage, which is this point here. ID is going to be approximately zero, very close to zero. It's only just starting to turn on. And then if VGS is greater than the threshold voltage, we're coming up here now, then ID is also correspondingly greater than zero. All right, so those are the basic conditions of our enhancement mode MOSFET. Noticing we're only in the E region now, we're not operating in the depletion mode. And correspondingly, our drain curves, VDS versus ID, still look the same. Okay, nothing really different going on here, except that, if I was to draw one coming along the bottom here, this would be V threshold, and this would be V threshold, maybe plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, or something like that. All right, so these are all positive voltages, and VGS equals VT ID, remember, approximately equal to zero. So we're coming somewhere along this bottom line down here. It's hard to draw for me. All right, so all of our drain curves have a positive VGS voltage and therefore the entire thing is running in the enhancement mode. Same thing here. So the enhancement mode device looks very similar to the depletion mode apart from where that rectangle is over. Noticing that there's no channel that we can see current to flow through, therefore it's a normally off device. We want that. It's positive voltage controlled, which is good. Normally off, we can see that here. Okay, VGS equals zero, ID equals zero. So the device is off. Positive voltage going this way to switch it on. Therefore, we have a positive V controlled uh, switch, which is much more convenient. Things to watch out for is this threshold voltage. Lots of people make a mistake and say, ah, oh, threshold voltage, that's the voltage the, switch, the FET turns on. That is not the voltage where it turns on or begins to realistically carry any amount of current. It's only just starting to turn on at that point. It can't carry any meaningful amount of current. You need voltage past the threshold voltage, as we see going this direction, before it's actually going to switch on. 